Beasel had a 70-43 loss to uh, number four Ohio State. I thought early you guys competed very well overall for the full 40 minutes of the game, but I thought you really got their attention in the first five or ten minutes of the game. Well, it was one of those things where you know, early on, you know, in these type of situations, you have to make some shots early, and we did. We made a couple shots. Um, I think what we did defensively, kind of, they had a didn't really understand, realize what to play against it, whether it be a zone or man offense. I think that's still Ethan Faulkner, the first game, 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 did that we just we, we really struggled for a long stretches to make shots and when that happens you're not going you're not going to keep the gap close um, on a team like this so that was the one thing again like foul trouble is haunting us in situations like this and then uh, you know the ability to make shots within shouting distance uh, down there in the post. He did, and he, he provided some some uh, much needed offensive um, output today. Uh, Kraft, he's a tremendous player. I mean, you look at him, you go, he can't shoot, but then defensively, wow, the second half. He, he changed it the second half. He, he became very disruptive the second half and, and really got into uh, our guards and made it very difficult on him to initiate any offense. One of the big positives that you can draw out of this game is uh, NKU out-rebounding Ohio State despite having a really significant size disadvantages at pretty much all five positions. Uh, how are you guys able to do that? Well, we've got high, our guys really work hard. Ernest Watson is tremendous energy. I mean, they compete really hard, and we work on it and talk about it. Um, it is surprising because we missed a lot of shots. So to out-rebound them by missing, and, and missing some shots, and shots is a Well, regardless the outcome of this game, it was going to be a, it was going to help us some way get better. Um, and at times, people may not th think that or realize it, but in the long run, it really was to, to play against that competition, to understand how do you have to run your offense and get against tremendous players and athletes like that can only help you in the long run. So it, it's been a positive experience. I know the score is what we wanted it to be, uh, but in the long run, like I said, it's going to be a very positive thing. Bear a 70-43 loss to uh, Ohio State, but uh, early on, we, we mentioned this to Jalen, that uh, you guys competed very well with Ohio State. Uh, you hit the uh, the opening three of the game, actually had a lead in the first uh, five or ten minutes or so. Uh, what was it like that? What was that like for you? It was okay. It's just the beginning of the game, you know, so uh, hopefully it was something to keep us keep us going but you know it was a tough loss today. Um, have to practice tomorrow and work harder I guess. Going against a player like Aaron Kraft, it seemed like it was a uh, you guys had a little bit of difficulty uh, getting the offense generated just because he's such a, a tenacious defender. Uh, what was it like adjusting at least in the first 10 or 15 minutes against a guy that of uh, his caliber defensively? Um, he's just a tough he's a tough kid. And he's he's one of the best defenders I've ever seen in a long time. So you know just you know, playing against them, you know, hopefully just bring us in into the uh, into the conference play. Uh, this is something we can build on, so I think we're okay. And uh, Coach Beasel asked you to play at a little bit of a different position, at least defensively from what you're normally uh, accustomed to. A little bit undersized as a four, but uh, you kind of had to go bang around with some of the post players uh, down there in the paint. Uh, yeah, but, you know, early, it worked early. But uh, I think we kind of got tired and we're down a little bit. But, I think I think we're heading in the right direction. We got a lot of young kids, so this can be something they can build on going, going into the years they're here. So I think it's okay. One of the big positives coming out of the game was uh, you guys out rebounding Ohio State. Uh, obviously, a team that's uh, much bigger than than the Norse, at least in most positions. But you guys out rebounded them by a fair margin, uh, six rebounds. So uh, something a uh, building block, if you will, for Coach Beasel and his staff. Um, one thing about Coach, he, he always preaches a uh, box out. And, uh, you know, in, in practice, it's either you get a plus or minus if, if you don't box out. So at the end of the day, if you, if you got a minus, you're going to be doing some, you know, some running at the end of practice. So I think that carries on to the games, and I think it's really working for, for, uh, for what the coaches are, 
preaching to us as, as a team. A tough loss at Ohio State tonight, but uh, obviously a very talented team, the fourth ranked team in the country. Uh, what was it like to come out and play against the guys? I mean, it was a great opportunity. Uh, we would have liked to come out with a win, but it was a, it was a great opportunity to go against like, one of the best teams in the uh, nation. At least uh, sitting in press row, a lot of people were impressed with you guys, especially early on. Uh, through the first 10 minutes, uh, you guys hung with them very well and were able to compete at a high level. And uh, in the end, ended up uh, out rebounding the Buckeyes. So that's a pretty big achievement for a post player like you. Uh, yeah, it is. But I mean, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about getting a win at the end. And what was it like? Um, you know, this is you obviously played out in the tournament uh, out in San Diego, but this was really uh, just your second uh, true road game of the season in front of a great crowd here at Ohio State. Yeah, uh, it was a. It was a great atmosphere, a great like a great experience because I mean, we don't have like crowds as you know over there at AKU like that. So it was a great opportunity just to like come out and play against. I mean, play in front of all these fans and stuff like that. So. You know, and a lot of uh, a lot of top NBA prospects on that Ohio State team, especially in the post. So what was it like for you, um, just as a post player, to go against players like this? I mean, I wasn't really worried about like their status, like if they're going to the NBA or not. I really wasn't worried about that. I was just worried about playing hard and doing what I do best to just compete. Now, Norris, a little bit outsized down on the post, uh, but you guys, as we said, uh, did end up out rebounding the Buck guys. Uh, how did you guys uh, just get so many loose balls and rebounds? Well, like the game plan. Uh, like after our first shot, that backside was always going to be open, so just crash that glass hard just to go get that rebound.